The Jacobs Spindle Nose Collet Chuck is a rather underappreciated bit of tooling for the metalworking lathe. These chucks are not made anymore, probably due to the high cost of manufacturing them and reduced demand due to the advent of production CNC machining. But for the manually operated lathe, they are a wonderfully useful accessory, more accurate than the typical three jaw chuck and less expensive than a 5C collet system. As each collet has a holding range of one eighth of an inch, only 11 collets are needed to cover the entire range from 1 16th inch to 1 and 3 8 inch. Another advantage of this unit over conventional chucks is that it can securely hold a delicate part such as thin wall tubing without crushing it. Used Jacobs collet chucks are readily available through internet sites and although asking prices vary considerably, it's not too difficult with a little patience to obtain a chuck and a complete set of collets for less than $300. There are a few different models of these chucks and the most common one is shown in this video. The chuck mounts onto the lathe spindle like any other chuck. Here you see it mounted on my Rockwell 11 inch lathe. The rubber flex collet it uses consists of precision metal fingers held in a compliant rubber matrix. To grip the workpiece, the cone-shaped collet is forced into a precision mating cone in the chuck body by a threaded nose piece bearing down on the face of the collet, compressing the collet and causing it to clench the work tightly. To operate the chuck, the collet is placed into the chuck body and the nose piece is threaded partway into the chuck by spinning the large hand wheel. A keyway in the nose piece prevents the nose piece from rotating within the chuck body forcing the nose piece to move either towards the collet to tighten it or away from the collet to loosen it, depending upon the direction in which the hand wheel is turned. The workpiece is then inserted into the collet and the hand wheel is rotated further in order to tighten the spindle nose onto the collet. As you might imagine, considerable force is required to squeeze the collet tightly onto the workpiece. To achieve this, this torque required is generated by a few blows from a built-in impact mechanism within the chuck body. Contrary to what one might think, it is not necessary to prevent the lathe spindle from rotating during this tightening operation. After a few moderate blows with the hand wheel, the hand wheel lock ring is pushed in and you're good to go. To release the workpiece from the collet, a lock ring is pulled forward and a blow or two is applied with the hand wheel in the opposite direction to that used for tightening. An operational inconvenience of the Jacobs collet chuck comes to light when holding short pieces. A collet engaging less than about three quarter inch length of the workpiece requires a plug to prevent the rear of the collet from collapsing. The collet set is supplied with a selection of rubber plugs for this purpose. The plug is inserted into the rear of the collet for support and then work proceeds as usual. If the rubber plug is missing from the collet set, a metal or plastic piece of the same diameter as the workpiece may be used. Occasionally one may come across metal square or metal hex collets for this chuck, but they seem to be fairly rare. The Jacobs Rubber Flex Collet Chuck is an often overlooked but exceedingly useful piece of precision lathe hardware. Can be obtained for a reasonable price and any craftsman who is addicted to working on the lathe will enjoy using it. Thanks for watching.